What will weight loss be like in the future? Maybe you'll just take a magic pill. That would be awesome. <laughs> It'll help keep you fit without the pain of working out. That's right. Scientists say they've made a breakthrough in a so-called exercise pill, but admit it's no small challenge. Dr. Holly Phillips is here to explain. Please do tell. What is this about? Give me some of those pills. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> give me, give me, give me. Right. Okay. Well, unfortunately, we're still in the petri dish stage with this one. No, no pills quite ready. Uh, but this is a very interesting interesting study. It was published in a journal called Cell Metabolism. Uh, and researchers, this is out of Sydney, Australia, they, they looked at exact cellular changes within muscle cells from exercise. And they mapped a thousand different metabolic changes that happen to the cells. So by mapping those changes, we, they now have a blueprint uh, from which to try and create a medicine that can mimic those changes. So the idea is the more we understand about how exercise changes our muscle cells, the better we can then imitate it with medicine. Um, but of course, there are some caveats here, right? Uh, one of the things is that exercise has such broad effects on our body, right? We know psychologically, uh, anti-inflammatory, it, it affects our heart, our lungs, you know, the, the entire system, not just the muscle cells themselves. So we're not quite there yet. Well, I, you know, I love exercising, um, mm -hmm. but like most Americans, I also love doing something that requires minimal effort. So, you know, I've done everything from ally to sprinkling that fairy dust on your food, which makes it unpalatable so you don't eat it. I'll try anything. Doesn't so, work. But how does it work? How would a pill work in which you don't have to actually, you know, lift right, weights or right. go running? Well, interestingly, the focus of this pill isn't so much on the caloric outtake uh, or, you know, you know, caloric burn or weight loss. It's more about strengthening the muscles and improving muscle tone. So it actually could be a breakthrough treatment if it, if it happens in, in ideally 10 years for people who can't exercise. We think about people who are stroke victims or who, or who are confined to a wheelchair or have spinal cord injuries. For them, maintaining muscle tone can actually be really life-saving, but they're not able to physically exercise. So they would be sort of the first target and they would be the first group to really benefit from this pill. 